I promise this is the simplest chai recipe you'll find. In Sri Lanka where I was born, my family called this tetani while others call it kirite. All you need is four ingredients, two teaspoons of loose leaf salon tea, three to four tablespoons of milk powder, three teaspoons of sugar and a cup of water. This was my first time using an induction stove for making chai and I was a little hesitant because party never had one, amma never used one. And I didn't want to because you see, modernity can marginalize cultural histories in its pursuit towards progress. I didn't want to bastardize and minimize an ancient tradition by using an electrical stove instead of a gas or wood oven. But it is worth noting that using one of these decreases pollution from gas emissions indoors by 50%. This also lessens air pollution outdoors as well. It is clearly the safer option. Using a stove that is safer to recreate an authentic chai recipe reminds me that modernity doesn't have to be a foe who is only concerned about protecting the possibilities of our future, but a friend who can help preserve the beauties of our past. Maybe it is possible to honor the legacy of our ancestors while striving to create a safer, better future for our descendants. Ooh.